Hey guys, I'm Doug Tarnovian, and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Batman Arkham City, Solomon Grundy Collect to Build Action Figure. I'm very excited to take a look at this guy, although he is probably the most disappointing Collect to Build figure of the year. Um, and we'll get to that in a moment, but regardless, he's still a very good looking figure, uh, and I definitely think it was worth buying all the figures to build them. Anyways, does it come with any accessories? Let's take a look at Solomon Grundy. Uh, the head sculpt looks really good. Getting a light here. The head sculpt looks really good. Uh, I like the teeth there. The flesh tone looks really nice. The eyes look very menacing. The hair looks nice as well. The suit, I like the texture on the suit there. That's very cool to see. And then you can see his chest where his heart is on the inside. It's kind of stitched together which looks really cool. Um, you can see the rope around his pants there. All the tatters and everything. And then you can see the tatters on the arms. All the muscly veins. I don't know where he got the muscles from but okay. Um, get the chains around his arms, got that rusty look, but I think that it's a little too bright to be honest with you. That's just my opinion. But uh, yeah, and then you can see the jeans he's kind of wearing there, his toes, dead toes. Solomon Grundy, very cool character. I wish we you know, could see him more. And look at those calves, oh my god. Um, I wish we could see him more in like DC Comics, but you don't really see him too much nowadays, I don't think. Not that I've seen him. And I'm not, like, reading weekly, but I like to think I have a good grasp on current DC Comics. But, anyways, let's get into the comparisons. Here is Solomon Grundy next to all the figures to build him. And I gotta say, this is a really nice wave. Uh, it's cool to get more characters for my Arkham display uh it's very nice to see um so ranking them from the top to, uh, from the bottom to the top uh, at the bottom i have to give it to penguin uh he's just not very dynamic and i think the dc collectibles version is better but compared to the rest of these figures i think he's definitely at the bottom here uh my next favorite is batman um we've seen the figure before and while it is an improved version the most glaring problem is still there and this those ugly very unusable single jointed elbows uh, then third uh Raja al ghul uh and then second solomon grundy and then first catwoman catwoman is like a very solid figure and i'm glad they nailed uh her here because she just looks really cool but yeah solomon grundy is definitely my second favorite and yeah so there's my ranking now let's do a Solomon Grundy comparison. So here is the McFarlane Solomon Grundy next to the DC Universe Classic Solomon Grundy, which is one of my favorite, um, it's not collect to build, collect and connect figures. Um, yeah, he just looks phenomenal. I love, I love, love this figure. Uh, and so you can see, you know, very good, you know, decent size for the collect to build. But uh, now let's take a look at the Arkham City Solomon Grundy from DC Collectibles. Here is McFarlane's Solomon Grundy next to DC Collectibles Solomon Grundy. Now, this is accurate to the game, by the way, but I understand McFarlane could not do this size, okay? I get it, but, like, I don't even think a Mega Fig could hit this size, right? Here is what I think well, okay, he's like the, one of the tallest. Here is the, one of the tallest mega figs we've gotten from McFarlane. Doesn't even pale to comparison. He pales in... I don't know how to use that term. He is still overshadowed, okay? And then here is the another tall figure from McFarlane Toys. If Solomon Grundy was made into a mega fig, I think it would have been a little bit more justified... Like, he, you know, I don't know. I just, I think this was a misfire on McFarlane's part. Um, not to take anything away from this figure. It's like, he's a great figure. If he was just, like, maybe, like, six inches taller, I think he would just be, like, he would have been the best 
collectible figure of the year, quite frankly. Um, but because I know the game and it holds such a soft spot, especially that mission, that mission's insane. Like, that part in the game is insane. I understand. Okay, I get it. You can't. You can't do this. This is like a work of art, and it's like a one-time thing, and it's, it's very, it's very expensive now too. I'm sure. Um, I don't know. Anyways, and they look very similar too. It's kind of funny, but anyways, there's my comparison. Um, I dug this guy out from the bottom of my bin, which I now have to reorganize. But anyways, there is your comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this video, if you did, do all the good stuff. Leave your thoughts down below. Like, do you, do you like the size of this figure? Or, like, do you think, you know, Todd should have made it into a mega fig to give it a little bit more justice? Like, and if so, like, what other collectibled figure could have you done from the game? I think Killer Croc would have been very good. Like, I'm just going to grab Killer Croc right here. I mean... Killer Croc's about the same side. I could see Killer Croc being the collect-to-build fig. Um, right? Like, I don't know. Um, anyways, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.